Hello everybody, this is Carol from Friendly Quail. I'm here for day six of 12 days of pockets. So today, welcome, and I hope you will enjoy seeing how I made these two kinds of pockets. This one has a pocket here, and it has a pocket up here. And this one, um, I put the ribbon on. You don't have to have that on. But this one is folded the same way, basically, except it's glued up here, and you have two pockets right here. This is made out of a book page and, and an extra piece of, of uh, scrapbook paper, cardstock, whatever. And you can uh, tie it in a bow. I'm going to start with this one. I'll show you a couple more I did, or this one. This one is um, basically the same as the last one. Just use dictionary page for it. So you have the two pockets here and here. Uh, it's not totally decorated, but I did I did put a bow on. Um, this is one that um, is in the process of being worked on. And I thought I'd show you how to put that ribbon on this if you wanted it on. And of course, I would need more decoration. But um, depending how big you make this, if you make it a little narrower, you could use it as a pocket this way. Otherwise, you have to put it sideways. Um, if you're going to put a ribbon on it, you need one that's somewhere around 18 to 20 inches. And uh, I'm going to use fabric tack because it's ribbon. I'll just show you how to do this, and I'll show you making one from scratch. All right. Try to get your ribbon about the same off both sides and straight on. And now that one will be able to be tied to here and of course you can make these in either direction um, as far as where the flap is I'll show you that in a bit whichever way you want to make it to put it in your book I should say I'm not going to show that because this one could be done this way or this way either way just by the way you decorate it depending on if you want it which side of the page you want it on so this is um, one that I, I got a piece of book page and I put it like this so that the writing will be in the right direction for up, okay? And this is folded up about two and a quarter inches. I'm going to end up cutting some of this off on the sides, but um, this is what I used for the inside pocket. I just have these from a long time ago, and I'm using them when I can. And so I cut one out, and that one's going to go in here, but it has to be cut down. Okay, so here is my cutter here. And I am going to... This was two and a quarter, so I'm going to cut this one down to about three and a quarter, so it's an inch larger than the other one. Get this back out in a minute when we need it. Now it's only about an inch above here. So I'm also going to mark where the middle is so I can cut a, a hole. These, this one is six and, sorry, I always want to use this ruler upside down. It's about six and a half, so three and a quarter. I'm just going to make a little, a little mark, excuse my reach. That right about here is the middle. And just going by the, the writing here. The middle is about right here. 
on that one because I'll, I'll cut off the seam about the same on both sides so that will be in here and we'll have a thumbnail for both of those okay that out and this one out now if you're going to um, ink now is the time to do it and I usually like to do that you can do you can do the sides and all the other stuff later but you have to ink this part now well, either that or you stick something under it after a while to do it. But it's easier to do it like this. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is put this together. I'm going to say, just put a little, a little dab of glue somewhere in here to hold that in just because it'll make it easier to cut that it won't move when I cut it off okay now this is turned under about let me measure two and a half you want to make sure it covers down to here okay I'm gonna cut Leave a little bit of white on the edge. Now you can measure this again if you want. If I put about that much white on, it's five and a uh, half. But it doesn't have to be a certain size. But that one, now we have this. So now what I would do is put the glue, let me make sure I'm in frame here, like this. Even it out. You can also run a little glue under, under here. It's not absolutely necessary because the bottom will be there. You're probably not going to be there. Uh, you're probably not going to be worrying about anything falling underneath it. Okay. So that is pretty simple. That's it. And now you just start decorating it. You can do whatever you want. Like on this one, I did put a snippet on on this. Oh, and I would recommend this. I'm going to put something on here because this is a single book page. And even though it's a pretty sturdy book page, um, it's just, you know, if you're using it back and forth, you know, a lot, it, it, could, it could start to rip. So you can put it on the outside or the inside as long as you have something. Now I'm going to put this, let's see. I'm going to just rip, rip this off a little bigger. And I like to use a little extra glue. Glue stick right over it. And I'm going to try to put that kind of right on the middle of that. It will turn over like this. And sometimes I also put it on the outside. If I'm worried that it might rip, I'll go ahead and do it. So that is now ready to decorate. And you can decorate it in many, many different ways. Um, one day I'll do a, a decorate pockets video since I have, you know, I'll have so many to work with. So um, that is how you make that envelope with the double pocket on the inside. Okay, now the other one, 
is this one. And this is kind of a big one um, with the size that I made it. But I did, this was scrapbook paper. And I just, it's the double-sided cardstock type scrapbook paper. So it's sturdy. Um, and I had some of those from that magazine. So I folded some and did, and did this. And I'll show you how to do it in a little bit. Now I haven't glued this shut on the bottom yet, but that would be my next step. Just forgot to do it. And I'll, I'll show you how to make one of these. Now again, this one, you can put the pocket on this side or this side. This one I cut it a little bit smaller, but it's still kind of a big pocket. You can make these smaller. That, that would be fine. Um, this is one where I put a strip on that I cut off here to make it shorter. And this was very dull, so I put that on here. I still have the pocket here, and I just put a little bit of, of ribbon on it so far. You could do a lot more to decorate it. And I'm also going to show you how to do it with a calendar page. This is... Um, the same calendar that I was using for some other pockets. I have a little, here, I'll just do this. I have a little pocket here. And then, of course, there's the pocket up here. So I'm going to show you how to make these right now. All right. This is that paper from Stampington. And this is a calendar page. I'll do this one first. I do have to cut it a little bit smaller. Um, I'm going to make it about, about six inches. Okay. going to fold it. I want to have a flap on here. And I'm going to fold it over. This would be how big my pocket would be or I could cut a little bit of it off if I want to, which I might do. This makes it about four and a quarter and I like you know, them somewhere between four and five on my page. So I'm when I fold this over, and I, I can do this, and you could score this if you want. I, I just use my bone folder. And this is what it's going to look like. And because I want a thumbnail up here, I'm going to put it over to the side, even though it'll be open the whole way. I'm going to put it somewhere over in here. So it's it's up here, but it's um, this whole thing will be open. Okay, now to, to finish it up, put some glue in here to close it up. And then you run a line of glue here and here. And that will close up that pocket. So easy peasy. <laughs> I like that. I like easy. Okay. And this is ready to decorate. Now, I could have uh, distressed all the edges before I put it together, but I, I just was saving time because I can always go back and do that. Okay, now this is a calendar page. And the first thing I need to do is cut off this bottom part. And to cut off a little bit of the top because of the hole. 
And right now, this is about five and three quarters inch tall. Now I'm going to want this to have the bird on the front. So I'm gonna fold, uh, put a fold line here. Okay, so I know where I want it. Now, I'm also gonna wanna flip this in, and I don't wanna flip it in over onto the bird. So I'm looking at, I have about, right here I have two and a quarter, but this isn't as wide here. Maybe I should do it this way. Underneath is about five. So if I want to turn up about two, two inches, um, then I would take this down to, let's see, wait a minute. I think I'm going to cut a little bit off, off this edge because it wasn't. Um, this is going to go up like this. I don't want it to go over the bird. Okay, I know what I did. I used some of, of what I cut off. I can cut off some of this. See, I'll just cut off about an inch. Now, I'm going to fold this over here, but that's not quite a big enough pocket, so I am going to add this onto here. So you just have to fudge according to where the the design is or you know like this one has birds so I want the bird to show. So I am adding this and I'm going to add it right even with the edge here. Looks like I'm going to have to cut a little bit off the top and the bottom. I don't know how that got a different length when I cut it right off of there. But I'll make it even. This would look nice with some lace or something on it. Okay, now I'm going to glue this. Fold that in. And the two sides here. You want to do a thumbnail. Do it now before you glue that in because it's easier. Not sure if you need it, but that helps you know where to slide it in. Um, again, I could do another a thumbnail up here. And in this case, because this isn't that big, I'd probably put it in the middle. There we go and that one is done so these are all kinds that are to the side like this and then we have the other ones that look like this 
So that's two kinds of pockets with kind of an envelope flap um, closing or pocket. So that's it. Easy, short one today. And that's all I have. And then come back, I hope, for day seven in a couple days. And we'll do another type or two of pockets. So thanks for being with me today. This is Carol from Friendly Quail saying bye.